girl Chrissy Kanique back again with another video. As you can tell from the title below, I'm here to react to the Migos featuring Drake having our way. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when I hear having having our way or having my way, that means I'm stepping, I'm flexing, I'm shitting on everybody. So the Migos and Drake on a record together with having our way, I just feel like they about to just be shitting on everybody in the industry. They literally about to be just on some flex time and like yeah this is how i'm living nigga. like <laughs> like honestly i could hear i could hear it being no other way outside of that so i'm really excited to hear this record you know migos and drake haven't put out a song that didn't slap so i feel like this is gonna be fire so i'm not gonna do too much talking let's get right into this video I love Drake. So anytime Drake is on a motherfucking record, you knew I was coming with the reaction. Okay. Said I ain't having this way. Quay I ain't having this way. And like the third me go out. Take. Quay out here having his way. Sit out here having his way. And like the third me go out. Take. <laughs> Drake is undefeated when it comes to wordplay. Stop fucking around with the fuck around when speaking on Drake's name, okay? And she tried fucking a rapper to break up my heart, but my heart doesn't break. Too busy back in my words of what actions to have a go front of your face. Drake definitely followed through with everything he said. What he said at that award show, he said, more hits for your head top, so watch how you speak on my name, you know? Like, and that's what he did. He came with more tunes for your head top. And motherfuckers, anybody that ever spoke bad about Drake ain't never did better than Drake. And that's just a fact. Anybody that has ever spoken bad on Drake has never sold more records than Drake, have a bigger fan base than Drake. They're not eating or touching as much money as Drake. They're not living the life that Drake lived. So, yeah, respectfully, don't fuck around with the fuck around, okay? But look at the plane. What? Tell myself I would get through this verse and not mention the plane. But look at the plane. Never forget Drake Deadass have his own plane. Customized, bitch. How many artists you know can say that? How many? I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> Stop fucking around. I like the clock on the wall like your mama house. I do not have time to hang. All of y'all have them on followers and dollars and that's why I cannot relate. <laughs> All of you have more followers than dollars, and that's just why I can't relate. And that says a lot, because Drake has about 13 fucking million followers. Like, shit, more than that, probably. Let's go to Drake's page real quick. Let's go to Champagne Poppy. Champagne Poppy got a lot of fucking followers, okay? 83 million followers. And if he got more money than that, just imagine, bitch. 83 million followers? And that's not shit compared to how much money you got in the bank. I know that's fucking right. 83 fucking million? Who else has 83 million, bro? Outside of Beyonce. Beyonce got 100 something million. Like, Beyonce's up there when it comes to followers. But, like, what rapper is? I'll wait, nigga. What? Isn't it just normal that Quavo starts off every Migo record? Like, Quavo is literally always the first Migo to rap on a record. Has anybody else noticed that, or is it just me? He literally is the first to go every single time. Every single time. It's crazy. In the city, get put out your bridges, you talking to trip and go push. She had it her way, now she out of a building. She had it her way, now she out of a Bentley. Why are you dissing, sweetie Quavo? Quavo, that's a direct shot at sweetie, bro. She had it her way, now she out of a Bentley. Skirt, skirt, get away. <laughs> the shade, the fucking shade. Take it, we straight from the bank and I caught me some cases and beat it in race. Only finish, that shit be on accident. Bitch on an accident. I shoot my shot at some point, that shit accurate. Wait, I ain't having this way. And like, like the third go, I take. I'm just waiting for takeoff because I just know takeoff gonna eat. I just know takeoff gonna fucking eat. 
Yeah. Like an eviction notice when we dropping. Yeah. Cause niggas get moved out their space. Mm -hmm. It's like an eviction notice when we dropping. Cause niggas get moved out their space. Don't fuck around with the fuck around. Take off. The wordplay. Listen, the wordplay. It's like an eviction notice when we drop because niggas get moved out the place. Oh, you thought she was number one? I'm sorry, but let's let us drop so we can show you what a number one is. That's what it said. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Okay. I was some teen in the song with Dre. Hey, ever since birth, my mama told me that they gon' act cool, but they really hate. Hey. Not to be in it, but I want everything that's on the menu when what's on your plate. Read that. I talk to God, he give me the faith. Quavo, I mean, take off, take off, take off, bruh. Take off. Y'all gotta listen to take off for real. Like, take off is so slept on, but he the only one that really be like saying some shit. Like, he the one. He the amigo that be really saying some shit. You gotta listen. I gotta run, cause this not a race. Go! <laughs> So rightfully so, Takeoff had the longest verse outside of Drake's verse, but yeah, <laughs> he, Takeoff ate, Takeoff ate that fucking record, okay? I don't want to hear nobody in the comments saying otherwise, because if you say otherwise, you are literally not comprehending what the fuck this nigga is saying. Takeoff ate. Drake, I like the chorus. I felt like Drake's verse could have been better though, and I love Drake. And I love Drake, but I feel like his verse could have been better, for sure. And Quavo's verse was good, but it was really, it got spicy when he mentioned the sweetie situation. It got a little spicy there. But to Offset's verse was, it was calm. It wasn't nothing like, it was okay. But Takeoff's verse was the verse. Takeoff's verse beat everybody's verse on this record. But Drake ate that fucking, Drake ate the fucking, um... The course. It's gonna be takeoffs first, then Drake's first, then Quavo's, then offsets. If you ask me. On this record, for sure. But it's heat. The beat go crazy like it's supposed to. The the chorus is catchy. Everything about that is it's a ten. I'ma give the song a ten. I'm I'm fucking with it. For sure. Now I gotta hear the song with future. Okay. What is the song with future? Picasso. So, I'm about to react to Migos, Picasso, Feature, and Future. I love, 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 love Future. And I just feel like Future could do no wrong. So, I just have to hear this record. Yeah. I love, I love this type of Future. This type of Future gives me that, um, oh my gosh, what is the name of that project? Anytime Future is on this type of, like, beat and he has this type of flow it makes me think of that project um hendrix y'all remember when he dropped hendrix and future at the same time but hendrix was more like a melodic record or melodic album and future was like all trap and like that shit was just just busting like niggas wanted to literally go sell coke on the street but anyways but no this really does like remind me of hendrix like when he gets in this type of flow, this is just bringing me right back to Hendrix. Especially, like, what was my favorite song on there? I, I think it was, like, Incredible. Like, kind of like this, like, that type of vibe. Incredible type of vibes. If you know, you know. Okay. When Future rap, you really just have to shut the fuck up and listen. Because he be saying so much shit, and it's just like... Future's voice just draws you in. I don't know what it is, but like, especially when he's on this bag, like, it just draws you in. It makes you want to just listen, cause it's like, damn. Like, I don't know. It's like amazement. Like, damn. <laughs> I like how Quavo just came in there. Like, it was very smooth. That transition was fire. Look at my drip, it's a new drop. Smoking on floors, Zaza. Look at my drip, it's a new drop. Okay. Them niggas is boring, I'm a. Sit it down, cause the business is with the mob. Them niggas out here running around, fit to put a fit. 
ball in one night. Put a fifth round in that clock. Cause you, when I count up a check, it's to motivate. Motivate. For all my guys, I pray now, watch it. We get money, taking drugs with arsons. I'm at the bottom of the mud where it started. I need three. You put your order for over the border. You can get shipped that way. Shipped, hurt. We never said it, then why would you sell it? I'll admit it. Offset. I like this flow on this one. We never need, I like the figures melanin. We got magical with camera surveillance. Stars in the rip, I see alien. Wait, don't let this shit go over your head. Offset rapping really fast, but listen to what he said. He said, We never sell it and walk with a felon. I would walk with a felon. I like that. I like that. Okay, I like that. Okay, we never sell it and walk with a felon. I like a thick bitch with a melanin. I'm assuming a dark skin, anyways. With melanin, like a dark skin girl. Okay. We never sell it and walk with a felon. I I like a thick bitch with melanin. We got mansions with camera surveillance. Look at the stars in the rave. I see aliens. Okay. I love how Offset and Takeoff went back and forth with their verses. That shit sounded so fucking fire. Like, it sounded so clean. Like, how Quavo came into Future's verse so smooth, I feel like Offset and Takeoff did that too. So it just balanced out the song so well. And I like how all in all, this is a very positive song. It's just telling people like, yeah, you could live your life this type of way, but it's more to life than that. Like, you feel me? I, I fuck with the concept of the song and the beat and just how they're like really flowing on it. Like everybody all together. It sounds so cohesive all around. I really, really, really love that song on Future. That's a 10 all across the board. Everybody executed on that record. Everybody. Offset, Quavo, Takeoff, Future, of course, Future. Hello, it's Future. But yeah, all around the board, that's a 10. Everybody, everybody did what they were supposed to do on that record. And that's a fact. Now you know, anybody that's been subscribed to my channel for a very, very, very long time knows that I had to react to this one, okay? This is the Migos featuring the late, but the motherfucking great, the big woo, pop fucking smoke, okay? Now, any of my day one A1 subscribers know this channel used to live for pop, okay? We used to react to everything pop, but of course, because of the situation that had happened and his passing... Ain't been no pop reaction, but I, of course I'm react to pop. When he pop out, I'm reacting to it, baby. So this is the Migos Light It Up featuring Pop Smoke. You guys are gonna get my first and honest reaction on it. Yeah. <laughs> this beat going crazy. Hold on. This beat is a vibe. This is a pop beat. This is a pop fucking beat. Okay. Don't fuck around with the fuck around. Okay. <laughs> Offset be flowing on these fucking records. Now, is he talking about anything that's super fucking great? No, but he his flow, like just the way how he switches his flow on beats and really just be like. Like Offset does what he's supposed to do when it comes to flow. Like his flow rides every fucking beat. Like Offset know how to fucking ride a beat, and that's just a fact. Now the concept of what he's talking about and the substance of it beyond me, but the flow. It's always Offset's flow. Like he really know how to ride a fucking beat. Pop! Oh my gosh, it's fucking pop on the record, bitch. It's pop on the motherfucking record. All right, let's listen. Let's listen. I it, it hit me. Hold on. Okay, I live for it. This nigga is eating as 
always, always has. And you know what's crazy is this shit was recorded so long ago and it could still be played till this day because he was just genuinely that talented. Like, fuck everybody that says Pop blew up after his death. Are you shitting me? This nigga's been talented from the day he dropped. And it's undeniable. It's undeniable. Hello, brides to my socks, man. Hello, guys, my bridge. So I'm 33. She said you just get an ass on it. You a gorgeous little gangster. would have had an amazing album together like i feel like they could have done something together like their records together hit every time every fucking time can i just say how much of a stand-up nigga quavo really is because i don't think he gets enough credit for really just being a stand-up dude like quavo don't do shit for clout but if he fuck with somebody he just gonna fuck with them like look at what he did for bobby getting him the pj to come home from jail and like just being with him that whole day and just embracing him and making sure that nigga was good on his feet and shit like that like quavo didn't have to do that but quavo is really just a stand-up ass nigga i haven't seen I, when it comes to characteristic flaws i haven't seen one yet in quavo like he really is a stand-up ass nigga like Every, all of his actions, even like the work he does with the youth in Atlanta, the work that he does with football teams and basketball teams and sports teams and shit like that, like he really is just a stand up as individual. And that's something that can't be undeniable, like can't be denied. Like, look at his show that he dedicated to Pop. He didn't have to do that. He dedicated that to Pop. He didn't have to do that. Quavo's just a stand up ass nigga. So. I ain't see I ain't seen nothing bad yet. Even the way how he handled the sweetie situation, like yeah, it's getting a little spicy with the bars. But outside of the bars, like he didn't go back and forth with her on the internet. He really said what he said what he had to say and get got the fuck off and went back to work. Stand up ass nigga, okay? And I just wanna say, you know, sweetie was saying that Quavo cheated on her, ah ah ah. Baby, he didn't embarrass you. Let's just say that, like, Cardi got embarrassed multiple times by Offset. Sweetie, nobody even knows who Quavo cheated. If you didn't tell us Quavo cheated on you, we would have never knew Quavo cheated on you. Because he cheated respectfully. The world would have never known if you didn't say anything, baby girl. Like, stand up ass nigga. Like, <laughs> They go out, pop, not leaving until we see somebody drop. They go out, pop, not leaving until we see somebody drop. Takeoff never ceases to amaze me. Like, the bars is always there. Drop. 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 They said when you make it, don't go back. Drop. But some niggas need to come on. Let that thing move. Drop. Somebody end up missing. Let it up, full fit the ball. Drop. Then I spend it on your bitch. He. I haven't heard a bad song yet. I haven't heard a bad song yet. Like, 10 out of 10 across the fucking board. The Migos did what they were supposed to fucking do. So that's not all of the features on the project. However, those are the songs that I was really interested in listening to because those are three of the artists that I genuinely like. I love Future, I love Pop, and I love Drake. So the Migos did what they were supposed to do and they got some really, really good features. And um, I'll probably go live and give you guys my... Um, perspective on those after I listen to the whole concept of the album I feel like the best time to listen to an album is honestly when you're in the car so that's when I'm gonna listen to the rest of the songs and the music so as of right now though I feel like the Migos definitely came and did what they were supposed to do with this project and they consecutively brought us some heat so I'm fucking with it that's why I'm genuinely fucking with it. I can't lie. Comment below. Tell me your thoughts on this video. Also, do not forget to like and subscribe. It's your girl, Christy Kanique.